do Sexy Phil, XKCD, my newspaper, and Dilbert all have in common? They're all talking about the Large Hadron Collider. And here's the articles and the comic strip. Yeah, I need to get a prop in this video somewhere. Uh, so basically I wanted to talk to you about it and how people seem really afraid of it. And I don't really understand their fear of it. They're, a lot of people are complaining that it's going to cause a black hole or something. And frankly, it's not. There's nothing to worry about with it. And really, if you were going to protest or complain about this, you should have done it in 1995. And really, don't blame the people in the scientific community for it, because people have been talking about this for, like, 13 years, and it's not really our fault if you didn't hear about it then. You should have complained before we spent 5 to $10 billion on it. Just an idea. But uh, other than that, it's not going to cause the end of the world. Uh, personally, I'm with Randall Monroe on this. Um, I don't really think it's going to do anything. I don't think we're going to find the Higgs boson. Maybe. We'll get lucky and we will. But I think, worst case, it's just a big phallic symbol. Worst case scenario. Best case, we find the boson or we create, we find some new stuff going on. But pretty much, I just think it's a really big phallic someone to show, hey, look how big we can make a collider. But it is pretty interesting to follow and uh, what they're doing. Uh, okay, so let's see. People are complaining that the worst that's going to happen is it's going to cause microscopic black holes. First off, Stephen Hawkins has said that it's not going to happen, that you, even if it does happen, that they're most likely just going to like disappear right away, so it's not a problem. And okay, let's say, end of the world scenario, it does become a bl miniature black hole is created, and it becomes a large black hole. Okay. And the problem is, so we die, and I, I don't really see the complaint with it. I mean, if I am going to die, if I have a choice of death, no, I'm dealing with, uh, if you know uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, which uh, if you're a fan of Stephen Colbert, you probably do. He's uh, my favorite astrophysicist. Well, he's tied for my favorite astrophysicist. My other favorite is Jimmy, but that's because he's like the resident astrophysicist that I could just call up and ask stupid questions. But um, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he wrote a book um, about uh, death by black hole. Um, it was one of the articles in it, in the title. And pretty much he says that dying by, the black, by a black hole is probably the coolest death ever. And personally, I think if I had to go out some way, that would be a pretty awesome way. The thing about it, how many people have ever died by a black hole no one, except maybe some people in, like, sci-fi movies, but other than that, like, no one ever dies by a black hole. Like, how awesome would that be? Like, you're up in heaven, and people are like, oh, so how'd you die? They're like, yeah, I died in the war. How'd you die? I got killed by a black hole. How awesome would that be? I mean, like, not everyone can say that. Like, that is a cool way to die. Well, not to say that fighting in a war isn't important, but if I had death by black hole would be awesome. Like, sure, it would be painful and take, like, thousands of years, and you'd be in constant pain for a really, really long time, but it would be awesome!